Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at count high from strings 2, and this is the Python solution. Turns out I did this problem a long time ago, but it's always fun to come back and try and do it again. Here we go. Return the number of times that the string high appears anywhere in the given string. Simple enough. So in our first case, we see there's our string, and we can see high is there once. In the second one, we see high is twice. In the third one, we can count high twice as well. I'm going to go through three different ways of doing this. The first one, it's dead easy, and, you know, I think I did this with solution before, and someone says, just use this function. And, yep, you're right. So we're just going to return str count high. Turns out there's this lovely function that just counts the number of times that some substring appears. And I hit go, and it works beautifully. Though this is a really nice approach, and I would say use it. Um, it's good to understand how to use a loop to do this, because as problems get more complicated, this loop, understanding of a loop structure is really useful. So the second way I'm going to talk about how to do this is I'm going to use something called reading frames. So if we're looking for the word high, that means I need to look at two letters at a time, because high is a length of two. And if we take our first example here, there's our string, and I've put the indexes above it. Think about these x's as my reading frame. So I'm going to have to look at 0, 1, then I'm going to look at 1, 2, then 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8. Notice I'm not going to go to 8, 9. And I'm not going to go to 8, 9, because what happens is, obviously, this is not a string of length 2. And this will give me, to be cautious about index out of bounds error. Now, remember, Python's really forgiving with this. And we'll talk about that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think, okay, what are the first two I need to look at? Well, I need to look at 0, 1. And the last one I need to look at is 7, 9. And we remember that substring is inclusive, exclusive. So we see there's the first case, there's the last case. So to do this, what I do is I set up a loop, and I just set a counter, and I, and I simply do this. I set CTR to 0, and then I set this 4i in range, and I go from 0 to the length of STR, and I increment by 1. This is going to work, and I'm going to come back to it a second, why you have to be cautious. But let's just play this through. So if i is 0, we're going to get STR 0, 2, that's what we need. And if i is 1, I need 1, 3. So I'm going to take this variable temp. I'm going to set it equal to str at i, and then i plus 2. Remember, this nice little shortcut is that, you know, if we take the second parameter minus the first, we'll get the length of our substring. So i plus 2 minus i equals 2. So we know with confidence that this substring is going to give us some string with a length of 2. And then we just say if high, if temp is equivalent to high, ctr equals ctr plus 1. And I return ctr, and there it goes. Okay, this works. A lot of really great ideas here. Now I'm going to do a little modification here. I'm going to instead of do this, I'm going to say str at i plus str at i plus 1. And really, this has no difference. What I'm doing is, as opposed to using substring, I'm accessing those individual characters and concatenating them together. And in theory, this should work. But again, index out of bounds range. And this is really important. Python is extremely forgiving with substring. And remember up here I talked about how the first reading frame is 0, is that one, and our last reading frame is here. So I want to go 0, 2, 7, 9. If I get 8 through 10, if I use substring it doesn't matter, but it turns out that with Python, if I, ac if I access a character that isn't there, I get that index out of bounds. So I have to modify my, my length here. I, because right now I'm going, to reach, I'm going to reach the last index, but I don't want to. I only want to reach 7. So I'm going to set length of str minus 1. And there our problem is solved. Now again, if you're learning this in Python and you're a beginning programmer, a lot of programmers are like, well, I can just do this, and it works fine, so I'm not going to worry about this minus 1. The problem is when you go to Java or another language, they're a lot more sensitive around this, and you got to watch for index out of bounds error. So the bigger idea is that when you're setting up a problem like this, always look at what's the last reading frame you want to take, and then set the parameters of your loop such that you get to the appropriate index. Okay, let's look at one more way to do this. This is a way that I really love. It's a great shortcut, and I, I call it collapsing a string. So we can concatenate add strings together, but it's hard to kind of just remove letters. But it turns out we can use this really nice function called replace, and we can replace all the highs with an empty string. When you replace something with an empty string, the string essentially collapses. So if I look here, I have this as my initial string, right? 
And if I then go through replace all, that string is going to get rid of those two, and it's going to do that. But what also is going to happen is those indexes are going to change. Oops. So now this has a length of 9, and this is going to have a length of 7. So the question is, how do I count how many highs are in there? Well, if I just return the length of the original string minus the length of the new string, I'm going to have one too many. I'm going to have I'm going to have double the amount because it's two letters that are disappearing. So because I know that high is two letters long, I'm going to divide that by two, and there we go. I hope this video helped, and remember you can find all of these solutions with comments on my GitHub repository site. Have a great day.